a little bit change in scenery from what I've been used to this spring. On this trip, I'm headed out to the river in search of sturgeon. Sturgeon are known as the largest freshwater fish in North America, and they can live to be over 100 years old. They inhabit a few rivers of Idaho, but this trip I'll be focusing on the Snake River. For years now, I've wanted to get my hands on one of these. Finally, thanks to social media, I was able to link up with Zach, also known as Sturgeon Kings on Instagram and head out in pursuit of this giant fish. He has some of the best knowledge in the area and has caught hundreds of these fish and a good number of giants. Growing up fishing for trout, anything over two feet was going to be my biggest fish. We only had one day planned, so it was going to be a quick trip, but Zach knew right where to go to get us into the action. All right, guys, a little bit change of scenery. Uh, we're out fishing, looking for sturgeon. Met up with Lydia and uh, Zach, who we'll introduce you to. He's like the sturgeon master. Um, so we met up, we're just doing like a quick evening into the night fish. Like that's when usually you catch sturgeon. So um, I have no, no knowledge of this, so it's just gonna be kind of on the long for the ride. But we got the gear right now. Hopefully it picks up. They've been what, it, what was the biggest fish you caught last time? Between eight foot nine, or sorry, eight foot four and eight foot six. That was Jeez. like real big. <laughs> so, so there's seven to nine footers in this water, 10 footers even. I would be happy if I caught a four footer. That'd be <laughs> like my biggest fish I've ever caught. So um, we'll get to it and hopefully have some good action. All right, Zach's getting loaded up. That's a- Pike that's minnow a head. We got the bait for the night and sending the first bait out. So see what happens. Got some night crawlers. Man, it looks like it's going to be a cool night here. <laughs> 10 pounds of bait. Yeah. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm freaking crazy. You got to Oh yeah, fish. dude. We're charging what we're we're chasing after the largest freshwater fish in North America. Yeah, right now. None of us are none of us are normal <laughs> people. When those big ones take it, they just dump your whole rod. Like that rod will fold in half. Jeez. And then we'll know he's on. <laughs> How many fish, like on average, are you catching the night right now? It just depends, man. It was really good until that full moon and the 80 degree days. We were, we were catching, you know, anywhere from four to six big ones a night, but now it's really slowed down. It's the last few days it was, you know, we were lucky to get two, you know, seven footers a night. So the plan really is to fish the evening into the night i don't have like i said a ton of time i'm gonna be here just tonight if we could catch one big one or just a couple i think that'd be pretty cool got all the snacks in a cooler here and who would have thought the exo would work as a fishing backpack too got all my warm clothes in here because it could get pretty cold tonight bug spray a lot of ticks lydia's little pup We just got into oh my god. Those gosh. were all just on me. That was all on Lydia. And Zach I'm sure had there's twelve. More. This Jeez. is nasty. I need to get rid of these. I pulled out twelve here. Let me take them off. Drown them. They're all crawling on me. Oh, those are gosh. Awesome. Eat them. Those are, eat them that's good protein. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Holy shit! How am I Grab supposed em. to get these things? Grab them. <laughs> that's like. This is the nastiest. That's thing like ever fruit said. snacks for mountain men. So check this out. You could see on the tips of every little grass ticks, ticks, ticks. Oh boy. This is the spot Zach says. He says this is where we will catch fish. Throwing the first one out. Now we wait. 
lot of different things about these fish here in Idaho is specifically our Idaho sturgeon aren't anadromous like they once were. And uh, that is based off the dams. They kind of got the short end of the stick when the dams were built, you know, a long time ago. These fish used to swim thousands of miles up the Columbia to the Snake River and come up here to successfully spawn when it was a natural river and then the dams were built. And so it makes it a lot tougher on our fish here in Idaho because they don't have ocean food like the fish on the Columbia down below Bonneville Dam and lower into Astoria and the estuary down there is where the sturgeon belong. And uh, every spring, sturgeon naturally try to reproduce. Every For females, it's a little bit different than the male sturgeon. It's, you know, every year, every other year. With females, it's only every three to six years, you know, sometimes even less. And, you know, the sturgeon are so old that, you know, they go through a lot in their lifetime and, you know, they don't start reproducing until their later teenage years, just like, you know, humans, it's like, a sturgeon can be 20 years old and never have reproduced before but they usually start when you know they're they're males or females it can it can vary you know but it can be anywhere from 15 to 20 years old is when they will start reproducing and uh, our Idaho sturgeon there's only like two successfully spots that you know fishing game claims that they spawn and that is below bliss dam and then in hell's canyon and uh so today we're just out here on the snake and we're giving it our all but these fish are dinosaurs They've been around for their ancestors, their ancestors date back to over 240 million years ago in the Cretaceous period back when the dinosaurs still roamed and sturgeon are the only living fossils still around other than the alligator gar and a couple other similar species. Yeah, he's got some awesome content too on his YouTube and Instagram. I'll link it in the description box. And now we are just waiting. Gonna get dark pretty soon and we have about five hours to fish uh, after dark and uh, Hopefully we can catch something. It's big, I gotta get the other rod out. Make sure whatever you do, you keep that rod tip up, buddy. Yeah. Woo! Holy s***. Let him rock, bro. Yeah. Yep, you're doing everything right, brother. And then once you get that mono line, let me know, did ya? Oh yeah, keep reeling, dude. Keep reeling, dude. We about lost the rod. Like, it was too close for my liking. This ain't no, this ain't no four foot. <laughs> Woo, yeah, buddy. Let's go, Chang. First sturgeon ever? Yeah. Yes, sir. My first fish in like two years. Your first couple <laughs> hundred pound fish? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Woo, yeah, buddy. That's a lot of drag. That's 30 plus pounds of drag. At least, at least 28, 29. That's good. He's just got Ain't no stopping about it. I love the sound of that real thing. Uh, cool. Yeah, I've yeah. never had anything like this before. Oh, he's getting angry. Oh, yeah. He's getting angry. We might have to start chasing me here. Yeah, we're going to pull up. I almost see color. Keep going. He's close, buddy. He ain't gonna be, he ain't gonna be freaking small. Step out at least like three or four more feet for me, guys. The cliff is right here. This is my front door step right here. So step right there. No farther. And then reel down and pull up. Dude, he's like right on the edge there. Okay, ready? Oh, he's gonna go again. Rock it this way. Slowly pulling back. How heavy does it feel like, just like you're hooked to a semi truck? Underwater? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm trying to fill in like a 50 gallon barrel. A water horse. <laughs> that doesn't stop running. Yeah. He's just going, dude. There is no stop. Huge. <laughs> going back. Oh, keep back. Just keep lifting. Nope, I got it. Keep lifting. Give him your own. Oh, oh, there he is. Keep him coming towards him. Walk back. Walk back. Walk back. Oh, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! Woo! That is a giant dinosaur, guys. Oh my gosh! Yes, Mario. Oh, yeah. First sturgeon ever. That's a six footer. Oh yeah, he's bigger than that. Oh. He's seven and a half, <laughs> eight, probably eight. He looks eight. Yes. Woo! Yeah, oh, buddy. Man. That's a dinosaur right there. What a beauty, what a fight. dude. Yes, Chag. He had. He almost had us at the end there. Yep. He knew what he was doing. But yeah, just walk back for me. Okay. I'm gonna pull him up in the shallow, clear water where he can breathe. Okay. And uh, he'll revive himself as we take pictures, and then we get him on his way. What a beauty. What a beauty. Look at the colors, just gorgeous. Yeah, that's close. He's gonna be close to eight. He's probably seven foot. I'm going seven foot, 
Ten. Look at that, kill. Seven, he's gonna be seven foot ten. <laughs> he might be eight. I mean, he's close. He's close. Right there is good. A hook out for him. Real quick. Look at that, right in the freaking cartilage of the mouth. What a hook set. He set it on himself. <laughs> he literally set the hook on himself. <laughs> when he tried to steal my rod, it was already in him when I reeled up to him. Oh, get that hook out. It's all barbless, but they can get him real deep in that cartilage and barbless hook. It's out. You gotta get it nice and flat against yeah. him. That's the problem. It's so freaking hard. Measuring them by myself is impossible. You wanna hold your hand right pull here? Pull that little taunt. Mine? Yeah. So okay. pull the pull the is it still tight? No, it needs to be tighter. Tighten it right here. Okay, what do we got? What do we got right there? Right there, what is that? 90, holy crap, dude. Not bigger than 96 me. inches, what did I say he was? Seven foot 10? Like right about eight he's, feet. He's seven foot 10. Hey. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I might have met him before. His, his name is Split Tail after all. Yep, insane, man. That's a 200 pound, 200 to 250 pound fish. Go along, go along the whole entire oh, fish. Yeah. Monster. How was it? That was insane. <laughs> Hell of a fight. And this is, I've never hey, had anything like that before. That's uh, you got yourself about a 200 pounder, 250. Congratulations. Good fish anywhere, man. Watch that uh, bank. Congrats, buddy! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! This is, how, this is how I learned the surgeon fish is I watched a guy do this and he was a guide in Oregon and you get that hook and you, you measure it up, right? And you want that hook to come out just like that. So you, you measure it up and you go in the back right here. And this is just a normal trout, rainbow trout. And you can buy these from sportsmen. And anyways, they're called trout morts and pop that hook right in there, guys. Just barely under, under the skin and come out up there towards the nose and pop that sucker out right there and if you get it perfect it'll sit just like that so it doesn't swivel very much and you have that complete hook gap and that's very important and then boom all you do is half hitches and that bait ain't going nowhere and you'll hook that fish before he ever even gets to steal it this is the best way to do it so boom i just do two right there and boom we're about to send another one he says the bite window's only been about a half hour so we got to send another one out there <laughs> You guys probably saw me carrying or wearing this when I was reeling in that that fish, the Peaks Duo headlamp. Right now, I think they're out of stock, but they're coming in quick. Um, Code Jag will save you 10% on any Peaks equipment, but the lighting on this is is pretty crazy. Um, way sweet little headlamp. Again, that's the Peaks Duo. So we've got it's 3:08 right now, and we've got one fish that's been uh, playing with the bait and jingling the bells he kind of takes it for a minute and then drops as soon as it. we go to pick the pole up he drops it and comes back so we're playing with him uh, it's been pretty slow but we landed that one eight footer um and that was that was pretty epic so we got an hour left to try to get this guy or another one and then we'll uh, wrap it up Woo! we got fish on we finally got that fish. I gotta hit him again. Okay, you get him. Yeah, on. You ready? Zach's got him. Oh, oh, nice, dude. Okay, so you gotta get down there. Go ahead, and I'll catch you. Get the spotlight. Got it. Get out of that smoke. Man, we've been playing this fish for a minute. Okay. Okay. Oh, he just jumped. Look at that. That's cool. I don't know. If that. Just take it. Fish are strong, bro. Here, take the rod. Switch me. Okay. At least five, probably. It looks, yeah, it looks six. But he's not. No, it's hard to say, bro. This is going freaking fire, though. He's going to come in close, though. There he is. Oh, no, that's the light. He might freaking jump there if you get lucky. Oh. 
Oh, he's gonna go again. Coming into the lip here. Yep, he's smart. He knows what he's doing. There he goes, back down the river. Look at that. Aren't they so freaking strong? <laughs> oh, they're so strong, dude. <laughs> All you need is two or three big ones a night, and you've got a good workout. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. One more reel down, one more reel down. Get him, dude. Pull him up. Pull him up right here. There he is. <laughs> nice fish, dude. Beautiful surgeon. A little bit bigger than we thought. He's about, uh, he's about five and a half, six. Yep. Can you just walk back? Yep. Beautiful fish. Get the spotlight on him. Beautiful six footer. Good job, Chag. Another sturgeon under your belt. There you go. Yes, sir. Beautiful, dude. That's a pretty fish. It almost looks like Vendetta. It just doesn't have the V. Yeah, that head. But looks really cool. Look how beautiful you do. That's. Look at the blues. See those blues? Yeah. Beautiful fish, man. But yeah. Congrats, second sturgeon ever. Tell he's gonna be a spunky one. Yep. yep. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, just get that light. If you, oh, you already got the spotlight set up. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Got it. There you go, right there. Smile. Hell yeah. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Um, Zach, like I said, he's gonna stay out and fish. I've got to get back um, to Salt Lake, so we got a bit of a drive. So fish just jump back there. Um, we're gonna wrap it up. That was pretty epic. That's like I said, my first time um, sturgeon fishing, first time fishing in uh, a year, and uh, my big two biggest fish I've ever caught tonight. So that was cool. Thanks, man. Of course, man. It was great to have you out here. Yeah, it was uh, a good uh, way to get me addicted. I think catching an eight and a seven right off the bat because. Now I want to come back. Um, Got to like get your you nine said, footer. We sat here for eight hours, and he had story after story. He's <laughs> he's crazy. He spends so much time out here and knows so much about these fish. It's pretty incredible. What what's cool about it is I can relate it to like how I am uh, with the elk back at home and and deer that I follow year after year and uh, learn their habits. Like it's the exact same thing here, but with the fish. So it's pretty dang cool. It's awesome, man. But, yeah, man. Thanks for. Uh, Thanks for uh, bringing me out here. Um, guys, if you wanna wanna support, it's Sturgeon Kings on Instagram and Idaho High Country, right? Yep. Right yeah, on. check him out there and on YouTube. Uh, he's got epic content and I'm sure he's uh, got some good stuff coming Ooh. too. Maybe we even- might a, have a fit, another maybe fish. Maybe even another fish. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next video.